All right, video number two in our series on how to improve total body stability and control in order to make it safer and much easier for you to build muscle and strength. In the last episode, I talked about the importance of your scapular stability and control to improve essentially every upper body exercise you ever do, especially in calisthenics. You can check it out up there. Today, we're talking about your lumbar region, your core, your abs, more importantly, your pelvic tilt. So the first thing I recommend for warming this up is the coveted cat-cow exercise we use in our stability phase in grand style calisthenics. I touched on this yesterday because of that scapular motion. So now what you wanna think of is maximizing your range of motion of your pelvis. And you can include the scapular motion if you like or leave it out depending on just what feels more comfortable for you. But think of like really tilting and moving your pelvis as much as possible. You have a posterior tilt here. We're really curling up, crunching your abs. And then you have an anterior tilt, getting all of the muscles along your spine working and back and forth. This is good for improving the mobility and just your awareness of how you can move and tilt your pelvis around, especially if it feels a little tight and stiff from sitting all day. And once you've got that pelvic tilt kind of moving, you feel a little bit more aware of it, then the challenge is can you do it in a plank position? So shoulders are fully protracted, as I talked about in the last video, and we go with legs are straight, and now trying to move your hips to the same degree in the plank position, which is gonna be a little bit more difficult. And you should notice that when you have that posterior tilt, and you're tilting up, your abs and your glutes work together. That's very key for that posterior pelvic tilt, both your abs and glutes work together. Now doing them in the flat plank on the floor can be quite a bit more challenging. There's a lot more resistance. So we're trying to get the movement pattern, not really the resistance of the exercise. So you may feel better off doing it on an elevated surface like the back of a couch or a countertop where you're removing some of the weight from your hands and that may make it a lot easier to get that proficiency in that tilt and then you can progress to just moving on to lower objects and keeping those shoulders protracted to gain more of that pelvic control through tensing your glutes and your abs. Because then once you have more of that pelvic control and just general stability, you'll feel a lot more carryover into all of your abdominal and core training to really bring a lot more tension into the abs and a lot less stress on your lower back. As always, if you wanna check out more on how to improve that stability in your warmups before your workouts, check out these videos here and thoughts and questions down below. Thank you very much for watching. Be fit and live free.